This morning, the Secretary of the U.S. Department of the Interior in Burlington promoting President Joe Biden's Investing in America tour. The Secretary, along with members of Vermont's congressional delegation, highlighted how new federal funding will help protect Vermont's forests and wildlife. NBC5's Stephen Biddix was there and has more. The time to invest is now, and we cannot retreat from that. President Biden's Investing in America tour stopping in Burlington. Interior Secretary Deb Holland announcing how $25 million will be used to help conserve and improve the northern forest, which stretches across Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Restoring and protecting bottomland hardwood forests helps to increase resilience to flooding from large storm events. It improves water quality and forest health it increases public safety and improves public access. The specifics of the plan and where exactly the money will go isn't quite clear yet, but Holland says they'll be working closely with local organizations and officials to figure that out. We want to make sure that we are doing things right, and you can only do that if you're in connection with the people who live here, who know the landscape, who understand uh, what exactly uh, we need to do. Senator Peter Wells says the funding is crucial because climate change is here. We just had the three hottest days in the history of the world. Uh, this argument about whether climate change is real or is not is long gone. Uh, what we now face is the practical steps that we can take as quickly as possible that is going to help. Representative Becca Ballant echoing that statement and she also believes nature is tied to mental health. The natural world is part of our mental health well-being as well, and we want to make sure that we can do everything that we can to make sure that it is a safe, uh, vibrant place for all, us, for all of us to be out in. In total, the department will spend $2 billion nationwide to help conserve America's beauty. In Burlington, Stephen Biddix, NBC5 News.